Hi everybody, so I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how I do my pre-poo. So for those who don't know what a pre-poo is all about, it is just a treatment that you apply to your hair just before your wash day, alright? Um, some of the things that you can use um, for this is olive oil, um, coconut oil, or some people use commercial conditioners, but I love my all-natural aloe vera gel and so that is what I'm going to use. Some people is very, very good, especially for our natural hair, because it really helps with the detangling process and it helps to keep in that moisture. So when your hair is finished shampooed, you know, it still remains that softness. All right. So let's begin. Before I show you how to do the purple, I would like to show you how to uh, make your own homemade um, aloe vera gel. Um, what you need to do is get your leaves, aloe vera leaves. Make sure that you wash them very well all right when you cut your leaves you will see a kind of orange kind of juice that comes out you want to leave that to run for at least 10 minutes after it's done you will wash your leaves again make sure you slice it up nice and clean take off the green skin put in a blender blend you may add a little water just to help it blend and um, you have your own aloe vera gel the Bible tells us in the book of Psalms 104 and verse 14 that he caused the grass to grow for the cattle and the herb for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth. And that's a beautiful thing to know that God has put these herbs such as aloes to be of for a service. And some of the benefits of aloes can be um, it has protelic enzymes which help repair dead skin cells on the scalp, it promotes growth, it's a natural conditioner, it prevents itching reduce dandruff and the best part it has similar chemicals that can be found in keratin a protein in the hair which can promote elastic elasticity and prevent breakage so this is very very good to use so you want to begin by sectioning out your hair right so i um section out my hair in two and then i try to work from the back Go up so I'm trying to get that like at least into three portions all right um usually I try to keep my hair stretched so that it could be easily detangled all right if I leave my hair to shrink my goodness all right so I try to keep my hair stretched so that I can easily detangle it all right all right finger detangling and um once I um finger detangle it then I apply my um, homemade aloe vera gel. All right, so you want to add a generous amount to your hair from the roots, go straight up. You want to massage it in. Make sure that the scalp is really saturated with the aloe vera gel. And then I apply coconut oil. I apply a generous amount of coconut oil. Yeah, a lot of coconut oil. For those who want to know how to make coconut oil, I have videos on how to make the regular coconut oil with the sweet aroma and the virgin coconut oil. I mean, you could use either one. Usually, I put my coconut oil into the fridge so that it becomes solid so that I am able to easily take it out and apply it to my hair. I love coconut oil very, very much. All right, so... I use a very large amount of coconut oil in my hair and this helps you know this is why I like the pre poo for because it helps with the detangling process so that when I shampoo my hair the next day I don't have all that detangling to deal with and my hair maintains that softness so it's very very good you know long time when I would wash my hair it would be a very very hard day for me but you know with this process you are able to enjoy your wash day all right so I'm continuing you know applying all this coconut oil applying this aloe vera gel to my hair and look I am going to wash my hair because it's dirty but yet it's so shiny all right you can you imagine this it's so shiny um yes I have a lot of shrinkage but um try to keep it stretched all right so even as I'm um, Applying these um, oils and the oils and the aloe vera gel, I'm going to put it in a twist and put it in a bantu knot, and then I'm going to work through the other parts of my hair.
all I'm doing at this stage is just continuing to work that all, um, coconut oil and that aloe vera gel. And you can see, you can see the results. You see how it has my hair looking so shiny and nice and it's feeling so soft. Yes, feeling so soft and nice. Our 4C coarse hair can be soft. All right, so I'm just working it through and I'm going to show you what the end look like. I'm just putting it in some bantu nuts as well so that it will maintain that stretch, all right? As I said, I cannot deal with that shrinkage, all right, and that detangle, so I just keep my hair stretched. finishing up with this and um, as you can see um, I'm just using simple things you know God has put the earth for service and I'm using it for my service all right um, I pray that you not only use the things that God has put in nature on your body but that by his grace that you will seek to put them in your body so that you can glorify him as well so God bless I'll see you next time